It's the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and the first wave of relief for Gazans, including Hamdi Daoud. I'm happy because I got the vaccine now. I can move with a degree of confidence. I wish everyone can get it. But the reality is few Gazans have or are likely to be vaccinated. 31,000 people have received at least one dose, fewer than 3% of the adult population. Health officials are not optimistic. The Gaza Strip can ever obtain enough vaccines to achieve so-called herd immunity. We're an oppressed people, connected to Israel. All over the world, they're getting the vaccine. We are the last. Gaza's vaccination effort began in late February. Now a second surge of COVID-19 has arrived with a deadlier strain. The World Bank says the international community needs to provide significant financial assistance to vaccinate Gazans. It's urging Israel to donate vaccines. The Palestinians say as an occupying force, Israel is responsible for assisting them. Israel says the Palestinians are in charge of their health system. To rescue more than 2 million Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, uh, the whole world, the international community and Israel must send all, uh, you know, all the vaccines needed. The Hamas-led government has implemented restrictions on people driving on the weekend, schools have moved online, and indoor dining is banned. However, Dr. Rada El Jadba, the health director of the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in Gaza, says the only way to halt COVID-19 is through mass vaccination. It is nonsense at all to talk ab about COVID-19 measures while the street between houses it is not more than half meter, and the houses are full of a lot of persons. More, more than 20 persons inside the have house and this poor infrastructure with poverty. 66,000 donated vaccine doses are expected to arrive this month. While the Gazans wait, the intensive care units in a healthcare system ill-equipped to handle a pandemic are almost at capacity. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Gaza.